Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a bit of a leg fitness workout on the beach here in Future Ventura. All you need is pretty much maybe a pair of trainers, just a bit of space, some glamorous gym kit and you're good to go. So let's do this. Firstly, we're going to do a simple squat. Now, if you're unsure how to position yourself in a squat, please, please, please go and check with a professional, so someone at the gym who is qualified. But how I like to do it is slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Then I like to use my um, hands out like this as a counterbalance and really like you're sitting on a toilet. So get that bum back and get down and thrust down and thrust. Now I'm going to do this from the side so I can show you the correct technique. Now I'm going to really bending back and I'm getting down low. And now if you can see your toes, you're doing a good job. If not, you're doing it incorrectly. And keep going, knees are going to burn. Okay, once you have mastered the squat, now what we're gonna do is a sumo leg raise squat. Now, you're in the position again, but instead I'm gonna also adding a leg raise. So I'm bending down, getting as the grass, then I'm lifting up. Now, this is great for balance, and it's good for engaging the core. So you're working your abs, your glutes, and your legs on this one. I absolutely love it. Now make sure you get down and up. Love it. Next, I'm throwing in some ski squats. Now, picture yourself in the Alps or in Austria, but you're on the beach or in your living room. It doesn't matter. Now, again, what I'm going to do is keep my feet together this time, but always keeping my feet facing forward. Now, this is really important for the squats as well. You could do these in any order, by the way, whichever you feel comfortable. Now. Again, I'm going to use my arms as a counterbalance and really get down. I'm also taking my bum back, pretending I'm sitting on the toilet again, and I'm also thrusting forward. I really want to work my glutes, my abs, and also my hamstrings. Keep going for 15 reps, four sets. It is jumping squats. Now I absolutely love these because they burn, baby, they burn. But the way you want to do it again is get into that squat position again. So make sure your feet are facing forward, slightly shoulder width apart. And what you want it to be is the squat to be your momentum. So I don't want you stopping at all. So I'm just going to demonstrate. So again, counterbalance. And jump high as you can. What I'm doing, I'm not pausing. I'm really getting low. I'm not pausing what so ever. Get that bum back, jump high, and really feel it burning. I'm currently feeling it. It's not nice, but keep going. Okay, I'm gonna quickly show you on how not to do a jumping squat because it's so easy to get it wrong. So I'm just gonna show you. So again, just get into your squat position, feet facing forward. Now what they do, they bend down and they kind of come up and then they jump, which is wrong. So if I just do it, they kind of do it like that and it feels really awkward for me, um, but a lot of people do do this. So make sure you're doing this. Keep going. No stopping guys. Okay, next I'm gonna do some variation of lunges. Now I love this exercise. It's great for balance, it's great for the core and obviously it's good for the bum and your legs. Now, the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to do for each leg, so 15 sets per each leg. So, I'm just going to start this off. So, what you want to do is get your leg back and face them forward. Now, imagine that someone is kind of pulling you up by a piece of string because you want to keep that posture upright. Now, again, you can use your arms as a counterbalance. Now, what you want to do is really get that knee down and then come up here. So, down and up down and up. Now, I have the wind fighting me on this one. It's very windy here, but it's applying like a sort of weight, which is great. Now make sure you keep that leg down. Now 
to make things a little harder, so once you've mastered that and you've done it again on your other leg, we're going to make things a little harder. So now I'm going to go back. Instead of stopping here, I'm going to go up like that. So, ooh, see, get your balance right. And up, down, up, down. Now these are also awesome if you can walk with them too. So maybe a bit of gym, you can walk with these. Okay, the last variation of a lunge is jump lunges. Again, like the jump squats, these will burn, burn, burn. So again, we're gonna get in our position. So leg behind. Now, instead of doing this, like getting your hands out, I like to put my hands on my hips. Now you can put your arms out. It's whatever you feel comfortable. Again, imagine that someone's lifting you up. So keep that back straight. Now, what you wanna do is change like that. So no stopping again, just keep going. Now, a lot of people again stop, but you want to keep going and keep that back up straight. And keep your balance too. To finish off, I'm going to do some calf raises. Now this is an exercise that gets ignored. Now there's nothing better than having a sexy pair of calves. So you can do this with weight, with weight or just freestanding, but if you want to grab some weight, grab some water, I don't know, like grab your cat, your baby, or just even do this whilst brushing your teeth, whatever you feel comfortable with. Now, I'm gonna do this on the side. All you need to do is literally lift up, down, up, down, up, down. And it's as simple as that. And do about, instead of doing 15 reps, I'll do about 20, or even do 30 if you're feeling really brave. There we go guys, I really hope you enjoyed this quick 10 minute leg workout. Please let me know in the comments on how you got on and what you would like to see next. Also be sure to follow me on all my social media channels, links are down below. Um, but yeah, I'm going to wish you all a goodbye and make sure that you link, like and subscribe and I'll definitely see you for another video. Goodbye! Next is a side plank with a hip pulse. Now all you need to do is get up onto your side just like this and pulse down and just keep going this one can be a little bit of a bitch but just keep thrusting and make sure you keep everything tight tight is the best thing for abs a lot of people just don't tighten those abs and if it's easier just whack your stomach that will make you tense